good morning to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sunkara in this video we are going to discuss a case of necrophilia or rape on dead bodies dead women whether it is an offense under ipc or not this is a question put before the karnataka high court justice b virappa and venkatesh naik two judges bench in the case of rangaraju alias vajpayee versus state of karnataka advised the government or the state either to amend or make a law making necrophilia as an offense if you go to the facts of the case the allegations are that on 25 6 the accused rangaraju alias vajpayee he murdered a 21 years old woman since is a rape case i could not i should not divulge her name he murdered a 21 years aged woman girl by slitting her neck gunthu gosher and committing rape on her the report was given he was arrested and charge it was filed charge it was filed under 376 and 302 ipc right now the trial court was convinced with the evidence and ordered the accused to undergo life sentence for both rape and murder as usual the accused person or now we can call him as the convict the convict moved the high court against the order of the trial court so please remember here the main contention by the convict is that there is no specific punishment for necrophilia in the indian penal code how can i be punished under section 376 of the indian penal code or the definition part you can say 375 of the indian penal code right now the prosecution that is state opposed vehemently stating that there is a recent amendment to the sexual assault according to section 375 a and c of the indian penal code the sexual offense was amended in 1983 and therefore a rape on dead body attracts section 376 ipc also since it is a matter of importance amicus curiae that is friend of the court was also appointed amicus curiae stated that even though there is no straight jacket formula for convicting the accused under necrophilia as it is not a crime in indian penal code but nowadays the human rights groups they have gained recognition regarding necrophilia and they wanted the person to become sure so please remember whenever i tell you regarding article 21 right to life and liberty right to life is a guaranteed right under the constitution at the same time right to life means right to die also so a lot of judgments zr kaur piratnam nagabhushan patnaik so many cases i have told you so even though the person dies his decency should be maintained no defamation should take place is it not so please remember a dead body should not be assaulted if you do anything previously if you do anything uh, regarding the dead body i already told you that section 279 of indian penal code will be attracted section 279 of the penal 297 i think not 27 297 of the indian penal code so actually it says that the no you should not defame the dead body you should not do any act so i told you in the case of the person going to the samadhi and doing some nuisance burial ground kel chesin dantlo 297 attract avutundi cheppa even the definition of death section 46 of the indian penal code you may be knowing what does it say death means death of a human being so when a dead body is ravished definitely 376 will apply but anyway straight away you cannot put the section so please remember uh, the honorable two judges bench justice veerappa and venkatesh naik 
they have given us of course they are satisfied uh, that their rape was committed because of the pm certificate they are satisfied they are uh, satisfied that the murder was committed and the conviction under 302 is for life yes it is allowed appeal is partly allowed whereas rape is not allowed because straight away necrophilia cannot be treated as rape because rape is committed on a dead body if it is on a living person definitely 376 will come so the honorable bench suggest relied on the case law paramananda kattara versus hind of india 1995 so please remember the session church has erroneously given conviction a rape he is right in giving conviction to the murder case. Anyway, he is in jail. He has to undergo life imprisonment. But the important critical point, legal point is whether the rape on a dead body amounts to 376 or not. At present, we can definitely say that it does not attract section 376 of the Indian Penal Code. Of course, there may be a law, there may be some amendment later. So, with this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.